Okay, I've been hoping to get a couple of these, or one or two of these guys on uh, film for a while. This is a Karawong. And uh, if any bird is worthy of the title of a pirate of the air, it's these blokes. They're, uh, they have a strong, sweeping, undulating flight. They have that massive, strong rapier beak. It was more like a bloody claymore, if anything. A bright yellow eye when they're adults. Mostly black, except you can see that bit of uh, white on the wing tip there and also underneath the tail. They also have a really lovely call that you uh, often hear in the mornings. Sorry, it's a bit shy. There's a few of them around. You, uh, you often see them together, little flocks, extended family flocks. They, um, well, I think I've lost them. That might be all I get, I think. Oh, there's another one. I'm thinking maybe if I just stay still long enough, they'll, uh, they might even get some of their calls. You can see now the white on the underside of the tail and on sort of white bands on the top of the tail. A lot of people, um, well, not a lot, but yeah, there's quite a few around here. The um, few people I've met have a hard time distinguishing these from the magpies. Um, now, I say to you, apart from the fact that they're both black and white and they're both birds, it's about all common things they share. I mean, as far as initial observation goes, I mean, you can hear them behind me now. The, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I mean, they're, they're much bigger than a magpie. The whole body shape is completely different. The, the call is different. Their eye color is different. Their flying style is different. These guys will take baby birds of any kind out of the nest. They um, actively hunt, but they'll also scavenge. You can hear one up here now. I've seen, but um, there he is up there. I definitely hear him. That's only part of their calls. They have quite a complex um, language, I guess you'd call it. You can hear them. Uh, you can hear them around me. And other birds as well. And once they form a little gang and uh, enter an area. They're pretty formidable. Uh, you know, just one of these birds is strong, dangerous. When you get uh, half a dozen or more of them, and they gang up on other birds, some of them will, uh, they actually act like a bit of a wolf pack at times. They'll, um, they'll split up into a couple of groups within one flock. Half of the group will drive the resident birds away, while while the older ones, the picked hunters of the of the group, will uh, go in and raid the nests of the birds that they've just driven off. 
Yeah, they're um, a bit like flying um, orcas. Same colours. Yeah, I don't think I can get any more of this guy. Oh, there he is, still up there. I wish I had a, uh, wish I had a stronger camera. It's right up the top of this Melaleuca here, this paperback. I love these paperbacks too. It really is amazing stuff. I mean, so you should actually use the right on of these kids. It's beautiful stuff. Layers and layers and layers of this sort of spongy. It makes excellent uh, roofing material. Actually, I've got it. There's a roof on the top of my budgie cage. But the indigenous people of this area used to used to use this stuff for a lot of stuff. It's soft, good bedding material, roofing material. Um, it's good for lighting your fire because you can see it comes off in these really thin so underneath even if the top of the uh, tree is wet you pull a few layers off and underneath that's nice and dry and it has been raining here too so paperback love it and these paperback trees they can get pretty big anyway that's me totally getting off subject. Here we go. Just to finish off this Karawong clip, just like on cue, one's come in. You hear that sort of noise? That's, that's his mates up there. So he's trying to get as high as he can so that his voice can be heard for further. <laughs> he's up there. That was me. It's kind of one of the like one of the sounds they make. Not a very good impression, but anyway. That's the Karawong. There's another one over here. Um, being very elusive today. Anyway, that's the Karawong. A lot of people don't like them because they're pretty brutal, but. I love them. Like all Australian birds. Aussie birds rock. Bye for now.